Hey everybody, this is Bradley of Bradley Teaches. And so far, I've been showing you how to make graphics and animations for your videos. But today, I'm going to show you how to make a graphic that supports your videos. I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail. So let's go. All right, so here we are in Keynote. We're going to open it up, drag, select all, and delete. Now for today's video, I'm going to use one of my existing thumbnails as a template that I'm going to draw on top of to give you guys the techniques, right? So let me just grab one of my existing thumbnails and I'll drag that in. So let's go pick text. We're just going to make it just like this one. Easy lower thirds with Keynote. And the font I'm going to use, I'm going to use Futura because I use it a lot anyway. And I'm going to make it the condensed extra bold oblique. Now I know that font size is right around 200. So let's do that. All right. And I think we're right on the money. Yep. Okay. We're really close. All right. So now what I'm going to do is work with this font or this text. They give it the look I want with the outlines and the shadow and all those kind of things. Right. So let me select all of it. And I'm going to use the cog wheel right here to do some customization on this text to really give it the look that I want. So the first thing I want to do is work on my character spacing, which is a space between the letters. I want them to be tighter. So I'm going to go up around six or seven to get them real tight to each other. Right now, I'm going to do my outline and shadow. Turn on both of those. And I know... Here's one kicker, though. One thing you need to know about Keynote. When you do an outline on your text or any object, it's going to put half of that line outside of that object and half of that line inside of the object. So if I do a 16 line or outline around it, eight's going to be outside, eight's going to be inside. So let me show you what that really looks like. So I'm going to kick this up to about 16, which is where I want it. And as you see, it actually changes how that text looks. But I'm going to show you how to fix that later. Now for the shadow, I want to really kick up the offset on that to about 20. Because I really want it to hang over to the side. And I want to knock down the opacity on that. Because I want it to be kind of gray and be able to be, um, to be seen through, right? Like a regular shadow would be. So I'm going to knock that down to about 35, 36, right? So I'm going to change the angle on that because I want the angle below it and to the left. That's pretty good, right? So I'm done with that cog wheel. So now I need one more change I need to make because I want the letters, the lines of text to be tighter to each other, right? So I'm going to go down here to spacing, which is the spacing between the lines. I'm going to adjust that so they get a little bit closer together. I think I like that at 0.8. Okay. Now, that does not look like really good text right now, right? And I'm going to show you how to fix that. So first, let me go over here to the word width, and I'm going to make it smaller to make it more so match the other width that I'm using. And that's good. All right. So now that I have that, I am going to go to my object list, and I'm going to option, drag, and copy it. Then I'm going to click the top one, highlight it all, then I'm going to go back to my cog wheel and knock down the outline to about three. Right. So now my text looks more like I want it. Right. I have that bold outline to the outside, but it's not interfering with the inside. And the way I have to do that is to have two layers of text. Right. So now let's color that top layer of text, the color we want it. And we'll make it green. Let's make it that color green. We're good. And we have the width. We'll make it white. Okay. So we're already cooking, right? So now what we need to do is do the vlogmas. So we can either copy and paste both of these or just do one and then change it. The back one is the shadow one. So I'm going to option drag that one. And drag it up. Uh-oh. Nope. We're going to drag it to the top so we can easily get it. There we go. Drag it up. Select it all and do Vlogmas. Vlogmas 2020. And we're going to make this a better size that fits that. And we're kind of just spitballing, right? 
All right, so there's a Vlogmas, and we're going to option drag that one in the palette list, grab the top one, triple click that, cog wheel, knock it down to three. All right, turn off a cog wheel and make it white. And it has the shadow and everything else like we already want it, right? So what I'm going to do here real quick so we can start separating these things so you can really see the design. I'm going to add another shape. Make it fill the screen. Let's put a color on it. We can make it red. And we're going to drag it above our other design, right? So now we can kind of really see how this thing is starting to look. And we can just drag these back and forth, right, to see as we trace. If you're going to trace, right, you might not have to trace yours. I'm just using mine as an example. So, but if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're going to use another design that you're going to work from, that's a good way to kind of hide it and show it, right? Because you can't eyeball on and off things in your object list. So you have to hide them some other kind of way, right? So now we're going to go into the, the top and bottom text and our icons, and then we're going to wrap it up. So we're going to go back to text again. And we're going to do Bradley Teaches. All right. Highlight that. We're going to make it Futura like we did before. And you can use another font. I just like using very similar fonts if I can. Just kind of get a consistent look. And I'll make that white. And we're going to kick it up to a decent size. Now, I wouldn't go maybe more than two fonts. If you're going to just do a bunch of fonts and stuff, you don't really want it to look what I call ransom note style, right? That's a decent size for that. And we're going to option drag that to copy and put a copy up here. Right. And we'll call that day two or day 20 of 30. All right. And we'll make the of uh, a little smaller like the other one. All right. So now we have our text going at the top and bottom here. And as you can see, uh, my text is stark white, where the other text has a little opacity on it. So we're going to select both of those. We can do it in the object palette here. Just shift click both of those and knock down the opacity. I don't know, to the fifties. That's fine. Right? So now we're about to wrap it up and it's going to be over in a second. So now we just need to get our little icons. Let's get the bubble done first, right? This little side box thing that you might want to put an icon or a logo or your Memoji head or whatever inside of, right? So we go back to shape, click that, and we're going to option shift, drag out to get it roughly the size of that bubble. Look at there, almost there. All right. Option shift, drag a little more. All right. So now we're going to put a stroke on that. So color fill. We're going to make it the same green as the other green and we're going to do a border line of white and we're going to kick that up. I should have made it a different color so I can see it. Okay, there we go. And we're going to kick that up to about 20. That's good. And now make it white. Okay. And drag that down to the bottom under everything. All right, so now if we drag our icon down again like that, look at that, we're right there. So now all we have to do is just add our little icons and things like that, and we are done. And actually, you know what? Let's change it up a little bit. Let's do a color fill on that of a gradient fill. Let's do blue. I like that. Yeah, let's do blue. All right. So now let's do the snowflake background, right? So I'm going to go up here to shapes. I'm going to type in snow. And we have two snowflake options. That's one there. And we'll grab both of them. Here's the other one. And basically now, let's option shift. We'll make them different sizes. Right. Then we're going to click both of them in our object palette. We're going to make both of them white. And we're going to change the opacity of both of them. Right. So there we go. And so now we can just copy these and paste them around the screen of different sizes. So we click the first one, option drag, we'll drag it somewhere else and make it bigger or smaller. We'll make it big and drag it down here. Let's get the other one, option 
drag. We'll put it over here, make it small. Just kind of do that kind of as you want to do it, right? But what we're doing now is we're basically building a template for all of our other, um, all of our other thumbnails. So now you can do your different things now and you can build your thumbnails and just go in and change your text each time and you are ready to go, right? So now what I want to do is I want to click all my snowflakes and I'm going to hit group to put them all in a group together. And I'm going to drag that group down just above the background layer, right? So now it gets behind that bubble. So now in this icon here, you can use your emoji there. You can, you know, put whatever, some kind of icon, some kind of picture. And let's put a snowman there. Just to have a snowman. That kind of spooky looking snowman, actually. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Got the snowman there. And we're rocking and rolling, y'all. So let's make that red. I like red better. All right. There we go. All right, red and blue looks better. All right. So here is a thumbnail. So whenever you are ready to do different things, you just highlight the text, type in your new text and export it. But how do you export it? Right. We're going to export this as a JPEG. So we're going to go to export to images and we're going to use JPEG. High quality is what you want. We're going to go next and we're going to call this one. YT YouTube thumb. Okay. So we're going to go back to main here, drag it in. And there is our YouTube thumbnail, right? Now you would actually upload this, this thumbnail to YouTube when you upload your videos, but this is an easy custom way to have thumbnails. And you now have a template to go in, highlight the text, change the text, make it the way you want it and you are good to go, right? So until next time, I am Bradley Vinson, Alana's Pawpaw. Be blessed, be free, be good to yourselves, be good to one another, and I will see you all soon on the next Vlogmas.